Hey everyone, my name's Steve, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can migrate your content from NFT.Storage to Pinata. NFT.Storage has been in the IPFS and NFT space for a long time, promising users the ability to upload their NFT media and metadata and store it for free through Filecoin. However, if you check the link in the description below, you'll read that NFT.Storage is transitioning their role in the NFT space and moving to an archival position where they help persist content that's already on IPFS. Also, if you're coming to Pinata from NFT.Storage, there's a new deal that could be waiting for you where you could get half off your plan for the first month and that money is actually going to go towards nft.storage to help them with their mission for preserving nft data so whether you still need to upload something or if you still need to retrieve your content through a gateway reliably definitely check out this video and see how pinata can help your nfts today so the first thing i'm going to show you is how you can move your existing files on nft.storage to pinata and then later i'll show you how you can do new uploads so first if you start at classic.nft.storage you can click the Launch Classic app and log in like you normally do. Once you're inside your NFT.Storage account, you wanna click on API Keys and Create New Key. Here we can give it a name. And then you wanna go ahead and copy it here. And now let's head over to app.pinata.cloud. Once we've either logged into or created our account at Pinata, we can click on the top right button here and click on Integrations. And here we can click the add nft.storage integration. We would just go ahead and paste in our API key and let Pinata do the rest. Once you put in your API key, you'll see that it says your files are being imported. And so we can go to the files page here and the bottom left here, we'll see a pending pins tab. We could open up and check the status of all of our pin by CID requests. And that's it. Now, of course, if you wanted to upload new files, you want to do it through the UI. A very easy way to do that is just click on the upload button, click file, Select your file, give it a name, and that's it, you're done. Now, if you were uploading your files to nft.storage programmatically, that's okay, we have a guide for you too. If you check out the link in the description, I'm gonna have a link to our docs where we go through in detail how you can change your upload progress in your code so you can upload to Pinata instead of nft.storage. But just a quick overview, I have a small little setup here that has our NFT storage client, as well as our Pinata JWT, which is what we get when we create an API key. From there, we have kind of the two functions. So one is using the NFT.storage SDK, where it does the client.store blob. If you wanted to move that to Pinata, it's pretty simple. You can just go ahead and take the same content, same blob, put that into a file object, and then append that to a form data request. And then you can just take the API call here to api.pinata.cloud slash pinning pin file IPFS post request with the authorization and the body. And that's pretty much it. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions or need help with your migration, please feel free to reach out to us either through our website or at team at pinata.cloud. And as always, happy pinning.